Well, the result of our war against Jeff the Nightmare has torn the universe asunder and flung us all into neighboring universes. I have landed in this universe, and knowing Jeff, he'll most likely be coming after me. So I'm going to have to start gathering up the crew again, and hopefully the native inhabitants of this universe will be willing to help fight off Jeff as well. Um, speaking of, where is here exactly? And... yep. We're on the Biffa Tech server. Biffa's boasting plot. So this is uh, Biffa's plot. So meaning that, uh, yep, we're on the uh, Biffa Tech server. Yeah, we're gonna be stuck onto the Biffa Biffa Tech server for now. Um, that was a weird little glitch. But not to worry. Not everybody is over here yet. But we are going to get everybody's uh, little statue on over to this server. Um. Uh, we do have a plot, and thank goodness we do have a teleportation system. Home. Hooka. Boink. Awesome. And we've already picked out our spot, and this, I have to say, is one fantastic spot that we have. Um, it's reminiscent of the, the floating, uh, the glowing aisles, but uh, it's not, not quite completely that. But take a look at this place. 
Oh, yeah, that is so cool. These, uh, what are these, Savannah Plateau Mountains? Oh, man, just with this river running straight through it, cutting through these mountains. Oh, this place, this place is fantastic. Oh, I love this little place. So we're going to be building here, and we're going to be bringing everybody's uh, statue back into here with everybody's requirements because uh, we got to make new homes for everybody. So we're going to see if we can figure out a, a portal to bring everybody uh, everybody's little statue on through over to this area now. Um, we do have um, some gardening systems in here. We got our uh, little cave gardening area. Uh, we're not going to be doing the the uh, the super naturistic uh, theme. We're going to be doing a little bit more upgraded. So we are going to have a bit of uh, stone and wood. We're going to be going uh, upgrading from uh, super naturistic into uh, somewhat mechanical. But there's going to be a little bit my mystical inside of our uh, design. So we got these uh, ropes here. Quick fix for our little bridge areas. And, um, ooh, ooh, yeah, I don't have too much around here. I just have the necessities. Um, my goodness, it took a while to get the, up to these necessities. Uh, where is the... No, that's not the right bag. Is this the right bag? No, that's not the right bag. Where did I put it? Oh, goodness. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's right. I can just craft another... Craft another quest book by doing that. Piece of dirt makes a quest book. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All the mods expert remastered. Show the quests. And we had to go through all of this stuff open just to get ourselves obsidian. Like we had to go through um, sticks to tin, uh, to get dried bricks, and we had to get uh, tinned copper and this... This little system got us the copper, and then finally from copper all the way up to iron. We finally made it to iron, and then we made it into the nether with these little doohickeys. And now we're finally into quest 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And it's going to be quite the grind because, uh, let's see here. If you know this mod, let's see here. Ender, uh, let's see here ender chest um for an ender chest uh i need like this that's black quartz that doesn't look like black quartz i need a draconium infused obsidian draconium infused obsidian i need two of them along with a uh copra spark i mean i i don't even know what this stuff is uh let's see here a Alloy, alloy uh, let's just do ender, alloy, alloy, alloy smelter, okay? I need osmeridium ingots, osmeridium ingots, apparently you get osmeridium ingots by uh, uh, combining uh, iridium and osmium, unfortunately to get osmium, uh, let's see here, an osmium ingot, you actually need to, uh, yeah, you can't, you can't get any osmium ore. Osmium ore doesn't exist. Ah, there it is. You have to use a void ore miner in order to actually get osmium ore. And my goodness, in order to, ooh, what is this? Laser core, diamond ore, goliath. Clear lens and laser core. Oh goodness! Basalt structure. Teal spoon egg. I need a beacon. I need a flipping. I need to kill a uh, flipping. I need to kill a flipping w wither and go through all of that stuff just to get an alloy smelter from Ender I O. Crazy, effing crazy. So yeah, we have our. Um, our necessity area over here. Drop off some some of that. We got our uh, tech area that we have down here for right now. Not too much going on. Just a, a few, a couple machines. Really, really not a lot. Because I've been uh, 
Playing around with them chiseling bits. Oh, ooh, pans. Uh, pans harvest stuff. We've had to put this in in order to get ourselves these uh, delightful meals. Because uh, we have this spice of life thing. And thankfully we have all of these filled. Which gives us toughness, strength, and uh, literally 10 extra hearts. So that's fantastic. We can uh, work with the no armor thing. Oh yeah, that's right. I have overalls just for um, just for the the cool little look here. And we have. Um, I'm going to put on the. I'm going to put on the what should we call the roots mod down here in this in this area. This this backyard area looks fantastically cool. Look at this. Look, look at this little backyard balcony that we have oh this place is just super fantastic oh, i really want to put like a, a fishing uh fishing kind of kind of village down here <gasps> gosh i was about to oh that was oh that nah who let's let's not do that again okay because we're not going to be able to fly for ever forever yeah have this little water thing down here just so that i can um just so that I can drop down Bloosh. easily. Yep. So that's our base for right now. Um, it's looking kind of good. I'm going to show you uh, spawn. I'm not going to show you everybody's house right now, but um, we are going to quickly go over to our place. Um, we have our, uh, this was given to us in the beginning. This is our, oh yeah, that's some of the more shimmering wood. This is the mining dimension that uh, we're allowed to go to. No sp uh, monsters spawn in there, and we just basically mine the heck out of that place. Um, I've been working on this road. I put in a, a few pen... Uh, fences here for the animals because I tried to get over to my little uh, spawn plot spot and I kept on falling into the pits of the animals and it just it was just super annoying so I was just like screw it I'm gonna put in the path that uh, somebody had started and I'm going to wind it around to make sure that everybody gets a little bit of road next to their next to their plot um, so we are going to visit those places probably next time uh, this uh, this episode is going to be a bunch of um, showing off of my plot area. Um, so this is going to be my plot. This is actually right underneath my plot. I have a damp little cave. Uh, you can come up these little uh, steps here. And I have my plot right on top here with a bonsai, floating bonsai tree. that we have up here with a little pool of water. Kind of cool. It took me about eh, two hours to build up this little bonsai tree, um, and the water kind of falls down here, drips into this little uh, lake thing here, and then goes into our little uh, damp cave. And I've got little holes that uh, say that yep, it's supposed to be a little consistent water. So we got the water, and it drips down to uh, this little uh, cave pocket here. So really cool. Um, apparently, the water that's in here, the the chisel and bit water. Uh, thank you, by the way. I think it was um, Aria, no Ira. Ira uh, mentioned to me of uh, how to get the, the the chisel and bit water legitimately. So thanks to him. But I put that in here, and apparently, uh, this water is not um, is not the regular water. This water is actually the chisel and bit water. Um, I had to put that in because it, uh, it comes out to be a different color than regular water. So I just put literally one pixel layer of water, and that works fantastic. Uh, I'm missing one layer. I'm going to have to fix that. That's just going to bug me. Uh, so yeah, that's chisel and bit water. So we have our path that comes up here. Uh, and this continues the path over here, and we're going to uh, work on the cliff path. So we're going to bring the path along this little cliff here, so that it's half on, half off. And uh, we're going to bring it over to this spot right over there that somebody has lit up over there. Hi, Nino. 
Mao. Mao. I know. Kitty just woke up. Oh no, she was probably having a nightmare. That's our uh, cat that has um, uh, a missing front arm. I think it's the right arm. Yeah, she's missing her right arm. But uh, this, don't worry about that cat. That cat rules the um, rules the house. But uh, except for us. But yeah, the the road is gonna come along this cliff side here. Gonna put a few supports into the side. Um, and it's going to come along here, and then it's going to go onto a dirt path that uh, someone has put over here. Uh, do 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 do. Yeah, going to come up and come through these guys. I'm going to come over to here, and then it's finally going to meet up with. Where's the path? I know it's like right here. I guess it's going to kind of come up this hill gonna come up this hill and then it's finally gonna meet up with this dirt path over here probably yeah I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up to this this dirt path right here and then um I will see about whether or not to actually replace this with the cobble Ooh, hold on what's going on here Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. The, the the path will come this way. It'll come over the hole. Come over the hole and take a left here? No. Come over the hole. Goodness. Where does this go? No? I've already lost myself. Where the heck am I? <laughs> Oh, I do that so often. I actually look up from work and I and just like, um, hey, this needs to go to this section in the aisle. What store am I in? Uh, okay, I, it needs to come across this hole. It needs to go across uh, this gap. Okay, it, it'll go across. Hello. Okay, there we go. A little bit of lag there. Okay, it'll come across here. That's what I want it to do. Okay, come across here. And then it'll meet up with this dirt path. So this dirt path meets up with that dirt path with a straight line. And it'll go in between these plots. So that way everybody has a town road going next to their plot. And I'll probably keep a uh, at least a block distance away from their plot in case they want to use it. Or, heck, they can even dig up the path if they want. Hear that, everybody? You can dig up the path if you want. If you don't like it, it's fine with me. I don't care. I'm just trying to uh, do something cool. So yeah, that is the plan for the path. Go by everybody's plot. And then after that, then we will go by everybody's uh, plot areas and see what everybody's building up. So awesome. That is our plan. Oh yeah, I put in these little glowstone things. Apparently, um, if you uh, use uh, a little bit of glowstone, it won't shine up. But if you use, uh, what is it? Uh, I think it's this one, one fourth size cube uh, grid snap. Uh, the, the minimum requirement is that, and then it will actually use the glowstone properties of glowing. So just use a little bit of glowstone, make it a little. Uh, glowstone branches off the off of it and it will it will, it will go ahead and glow oh yeah I, I like the fact that this water is uh, dripping from the ceiling giving it that more that damp moist cave area sorry if you don't like the word moist but yeah the cave will be moist I think I cleared off enough areas where people can actually just walk right up it. I was thinking of having a second path around here so that it would go past my place, but um, I might as well just do one path through here and uh, actually have this. I'm thinking of uh, breaking this up a little bit, but I don't want it broken up too much that people don't realize that this is part of a path. Yeah, the, uh, part of my, part of my uh, uh, plot is going to be the path, and I really enjoy that just cutting straight through my through my area I think it's kinda cool that way I can uh, do a cool little cave thingy there so let me know what you think of the the 
path that I have here, the um, someone started with the what is it? Uh, hardened clay tiles, hardened clay tiles, and I just kind of continued it. Um, added a little bit of lip onto these areas that are going to be uh, kind of bridge-like, and I'm going to continue that bridge-like thing over there. All right. Um. I think that's going to be it for this episode. It's uh, been a little while. Uh, just uh, telling you of, uh, what's actually been happening. The little intro thing that I've had uh, leading up to this. So, uh, yeah, we will get to everybody's plot next time. It won't be a month until the next episode. I, I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, definitely done with all of my projects. Uh, oh, if you want to see why it took me a month to get into the next episode, uh, go over to um, the Puka channel, uh, the one, the other channel that I have for all of my stories and stuff and such forth, my all my 3D rendering, uh, and you'll see the the projects that I've been working on there and uh, why the the episode can, took like a couple months in order to come out with. So all right, y'all, this is the Puka signing out. <laughs>